thread right behind the eye and cover the hook shank. Bring the thread right back to the barb of the hook. We're going to grab our first piece of foam, which will be the underbelly. Chose to use yellow. Extend that past the bend of the hook just a little bit. One loose wrap, followed up by a couple consecutive tighter wraps. Pull the foam back, wrap just in front of it to secure it. And now we're going to add our overbody. I'm going to use brown for this. Once we get our foam secure, we take a set of rubber legs. You can use whatever colors you want. I'm going to use some red and black speckled legs. Just tie those right on top. Grab each pair. Slide them into the gap between the two pieces of foam. One or two more wraps of thread to secure it. Bring your thread to the front of the foam. Now we're going to wind forward for our next segment. About an eighth of an inch or so. Pull the yellow forward, loose wrap to start, then the brown, Repeat this process. Now you can see that we have about one more segment left to finish our fly. We're going to hold up right here and we're going to actually build a wing. So to start, we're going to add some crystal flash right on top of the foam. trim out our butt sections. I'm going to add one drop of head cement on top of that. Now we're going to use some elk hair for the wing. want this wing to extend just a little bit past the end of the fly. I'm going to wrap through the hair a few more turns of thread to help secure the hair to the foam. And we're just going to pull all the hair up, trim it flush. more wraps or thread to secure that.
add some more head cement. Now I'm going to add a little indicator piece of foam right on top of this hair to help give you something to visually track in the water. I'm going to use yellow, but you can use orange, chartreuse, whatever your choice of color is. Just tie that in. We can go in now and trim it just short of the tips. Flare that out. Now we're going to add our second pair of legs at this point. Right on top. Pull them off to the sides. So, come back to the front of the foam, carry our thread right up to the eye, make sure we get a good thread base on the hook. Pull the yellow over. Secure that, followed by the brown. then our indicator foam as well. Pull all that up, get your thread back underneath, tie it off at the eye. done. Next step is to come in and trim the foam, cut the yellow tag flush, and then extend both the brown and yellow slightly past the eye. Pull the legs up. Trim them to be about an inch, inch and a half. All your little adjustments, and we're done. Pretty quick, easy, high profile. Fish love the wing silhouette.